there, food hackers. It's a beautiful day for some hacking. Don't you think, Gary? Hey, Shannon, what instrument do I play? Um, I don't know, Gary. What instrument do you play? The trombone! <laughs> anyway, Grill Master Gary and I are cooking up some gooey grilled cheese hacks. We all know I'm just here for the spare ribs. <laughs> Alright, Gary, that's enough. Let's get rolling with our first hack. Grilled cheese roll-ups. For this you'll need one slice of bread, one piece of cheese, butter, a knife, a rolling pin, a spatula, and a pan. Cut the crust off your bread. Use your rolling pin to flatten your bread. Place some cheese on your flattened bread and roll it up. Make sure it's tight. Get a parent or your grill master, Gary, to help you with this next part. Oh yeah. On medium heat, melt some butter in your pan. That's looking real nice. Place your roll up in the pan. All right, that's looking at a nice roll. Cook for three to four minutes per side until it's golden brown. And yeah. Bring to lunch, kids will be like, ooh, I'll trade you my fruit roll up. You'll be like, nah, son, this is my grilled cheese roll up. Now that we've grilled our cheese into a roll, it's only natural that we turn it into a rainbow. Let's make my mega multicolor melt. For this, you'll need two slices of sourdough bread, shredded mozzarella cheese, neon food coloring, butter, some mixing bowls, some spoons, a knife, a spatula, and a pan. Separate your cheese into four different bowls. Add food coloring to each. Butter your bread. Now get your grill master to heat the pan to medium and put one slice of bread buttered side down. Oh yeah, that's looking real nice. Add the colored cheese to the bread in lines like this. Ooh, yeah, that cheese is looking good. Add the other piece of bread to your sandwich, placing it so the butter faces out. Tap, tap. Cook for three to four minutes. Then flip your sandwich and cook for another three to four minutes, or until it's golden brown. Now let's see how it tastes. Ooh. Bone appetite. <laughs> really? Come on, throw me a bone here. <laughs> And finally, our last hack takes the best part of breakfast and the best part of lunch for something I like to call lunch fast. Wait, no, let's call it brunch. All right. It's time to make our griddle cheese, cheese brunch in mind. For this, you'll need two cooked waffles, a slice of cheese, butter, a knife, a spatula, and a pan. Butter one side of each waffle. Then get your grill master to heat a pan on medium. Place your waffle butter side down in your pan. I feel like this would be easier if I had skin. Now add your cheese. Then top with your second waffle buttered side out. Cook for three to four minutes per side or until it's golden brown. That's how you know it's good. Now your griddled cheese is complete. <laughs> Shannon! Shannon! What, Gary? Where is my griddled cheese? I specifically made one for myself, and now it's gone! Hey, that's my griddled cheese! You're a thief! I didn't take your griddled cheese, Sherlock Bones. <laughs> no! I will not be distracted by jokes! Give me my griddled cheese! Well... I would share, but they're all gone. This is going in my diary. Whatever, Gary. Dear diary, 
You will never believe what happened today. Shannon stole my griddle cheese. Remember to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for more food hacks for kids. With me, Shannon. Not Gary. Even though I love him, he's a crybaby sometimes. And remember, you can't trust anybody. Anybody! Anybody! Oh, how it... Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Dear Diary. False alarm. <laughs>